hello guys welcome back once again so today uh, we are going to learn that what is the zone concept in palo alto firewall so basically in the previous videos i have already told you theoretically that what exactly they are and how they behave but today i'm going to tell you in the lab actually that uh, how to create the zones in the firewall and uh, what is the default rules to allow or deny the traffic in those so here if you see that i have uh, taken a lab so obviously this pc as usual you will be used to uh, access the gui of this firewall and i will be creating two zones zone one and zone two uh, normally uh, we take name as trust or untrust but just to introduce you the concept of zone i will take the name as zone one and zone two why i'm taking this one that it does not matter that what name you take either trust or untrust any name you can choose basically so that's why i will take this name zone one and zone two so in zone one i will be assigning these two machines yeah this is a user one which will be having this ip address and in the same zone i will be assigning a server having ip address this one right so firewall side ip addresses will be these one of these two machines and i will be creating one more zone uh, named as zone 2 here and this machine will be under zone 2 right and the ip address of this will be this and uh, at the firewall side it is going to be this one so let's see that how to do this one so i have not configured the ip addresses on these machines so quickly let me configure them and then we'll come back okay so let me just uh, take it uh, user 1 i think user 1 i have already assigned ip addresses and user 2 as well but not done on the firewall side so i will configure on the firewall side so for that one i will go to gui and first i will create two ethernet go to ethernet 1 here as usual the interface type i am going to select as layer 3 i will take another session for that what are the remaining interfaces don't worry for that virtual router as of now i'm going to take as a default here all right so what is this default that also i'm going to tell you in the next or upcoming sessions security zones as of now i have not taken anything just i'm assigning the ip addresses here so create ip address 172.16.1.1 and slash 24 i'm giving okay that's it and uh, hit okay so the first one is done the same thing i'm going to do for the second one layer 3 that's all set default virtual router i'm going to take as a default here security zone i'm going to take as none as of now and ip address i'm going to take as, as 172.16.2.1 slash 24 all right so this is slash 24 all right and uh, this is it yeah, and the same thing i'm going to do for the one slash three one seventy two dot sixteen dot three dot one slash twenty four and uh, config will be default that's fine that's all set and another thing that we have to commit it so I'm going to commit it as of now now we are going to the most important part that is zones so creation of zones we will will go on this field zones here all right we can click add here so there are basically two ways to create zones so by one zone i will create by this way another zone i will uh, take another way right so name here i am taking as a zone one all right and uh, remaining here you will just add interface that which interface you want to add under zone one so on the zone one i want to add interfaces ethernet one slash one and one slash two all right 
so let me add interface one slash one oh uh, tab i have selected here so i have to click it layer three first add and now we are having the ethernet one slash one and i also want to add interface one slash two under the same zone right uh, one slash one and one slash two that's perfect and that's it uh, remaining else you don't have to add as of now if you want you can enable the zone protection profile so these are basically helping for the some of the cyber security attacks like reconnaissance or any attacks something like that one right so for that one we can create this one so as of now just uh, hit okay so we have created a zone one ethernet one slash one and ethernet one slash two we can do commit as well here as of now but i want to create zone two as well and for that one i want to go to the directly to the interface i told you that we can create by another way right so the another way was here whenever you are configuring your ethernet interface there is option like security zones here it is none right so if you go to the drop down here it gives an option new zone so if you click it here then also same window pops up what it was there in the zones tab so same way you can create here zone two all right and uh, you can add the interface here one slash one and one slash two are already assigned now you can add one slash three and hit enter sorry okay <laughs> it was okay and ip before address is already there so just uh, click okay uh, now if you click go here in the zones two zones are created right so there are two ways you can go in the zones you can add it here or you can go to the interfaces and you can directly create zones from there now our job is to uh, commit but before committing i just want to show you that whether uh, the communication is allowed uh, to these things or not right so as of now i was on the machine user one and this server 172.16.2.10 all right so let's see if we can able to ping uh, from this to here or not 172.16.1.10 i want to go to the user one here it is our user one that's fine let me ping 172.16.2.10 and the request timeout is coming the same thing i'm going to do for the 3.10 3.10 is basically on the zone 2 so let's do for the 3.10 as well i have not committed uh, the zones whatever we have created or whatever the changes we have done recently on the firewalls before that we are trying to check whether we are able to reach reach those ip addresses or not now let's commit those so it takes some time So commit has been successful now. Let's check the communication now that what is the status of the ping. So 2.10 is back. We are able to ping 2.10 now. Let's check 3.10. We are still not able to ping 3.10. It is still timed out. Now let's understand that why it is so understand why it is let's go to the firewall policy that what are the default policies because we have not created any of the firewall policies right so let's check the default policies and that's how it is taking as of now if you check the default policy the first policy that says as intra zone default intra zone means within the zone right so any uh, from any zone right any source to intra zone destination if it is any zone and intranet destination it says that the traffic is allowed for the first policy it is allowed and for the second one it is deny so what is that second one for the second one it is basically intra zone right so for the intra zone 
the traffic is allowed and for enter zone it is deny so whenever it is intra zone means our we are on the same zone here right so if we are trying to communicate from here to here that traffic is allowed because we are communicating within the zone but if we try to ping 3.10 it denies the traffic it does not allow why because inter zone traffic is allowed by default we have not allowed any of the traffic as of now so let's just one do one thing we just allow that intra zone inter zone communication as well so let me create a policy here now for the name uh, communication let's say or allow traffic source i want to don't want to add any ip address just zone here so from zone 1 any ip address goes to the destination zone 2 if zone 1 tries to communicate from zone 1 to zone 2 the traffic should be allowed now let's commit it commit is successful let's check the communication now that what is happening and here we go that all traffic gone through so this is basically the default policies if you want to allow you can check accordingly so that's it on the zones uh, for the other things i will be taking some more videos as soon as possible thank you guys for watching See you soon in the next video.